Hi, welcome back. So this week I've managed to make it to Lower Black Clough in the Peak District. So this is in uh, Woodside near Glossop in Greater Manchester. So it's the Manchester end of the Peak District. You've got this amazing falls. As you can see, the water flow isn't the greatest today, but I prefer it like this. That's why I've come today because you get all this water that it just like tears just running down it's absolutely beautiful just all the little trickles over the moss it's something amazing so i'm going to be getting a 80 to 200 on as well as the 16 to 35 and getting some real close-up shots of the moss with the water long exposure so i'll start with this first shot now if i just show you it so what we're looking at now is the waterfall on a wide angle i've got the water the main piece of water running down the center the moss covering the outsides and then i've just got some rocks in the foreground now i will do a vertical of this so i can get the whole falls in but i'm just isolating the lower part with the rocks just for something different really so i'll start with this and i'll put it on the screen for you now So this is probably one of my favourite angles of this fall. Um, I love coming round on this side because every time I've been here I just get different compositions. Um, so nice. You just got to remember to wipe your lens at every opportunity. So you get some really, really nice like tighter angles of the falls. going to change out the lens now and put a 80 to 200 on and we're going to zoom in and get some tighter shots of it So I've, I've switched back to the 16 to 35. Um, I just wasn't happy with the, the way the lens was dealing with the light. Well, there isn't any, it's flat. All the sunlight is down that end. I can show you all the sun's down that end of the valley. And this is all flat now. This is a good location. At certain times of the day, um, you'd have to go on sun calc. I'm working out. Um, I have been here in the winter around midday and there was a little bit of light just catching the water. It depends, you know, what time of year it is really, but check sun calc. I didn't. Um, but for the purpose of this vlog, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about exposure times. So I am asked on a regular occurrence, in fact, on an email two days ago, about exposure times <coughs> sorry and what I find to be the best it all depends on taste um, every photographer is different but everyone's got their own unique style if you're going for a two second five second 30 second 
exposure in rivers or waterfalls or anything like that. You're going to get a nice milky effect. Some people like that, other people don't. Personally, I don't. I try and tend to go for about a third, third, fifth, eighth of a second, even a second sometimes. It all depends on the water flow. So if the water's flowing quite fast, I'll go more to the third of a second, maybe sixteenth of a second, and try and freeze that water more than catch the flow in it. So I'll try and catch, capture some detail. Um, that's just what I like. If the flow is as it is today, um, I've been going up around, where are we on now? We're up around the one second, 1.3 seconds, because there's not much of a flow. So I want to capture over time a little bit more of the water as it falls, and that'll give me the effect I want. So, yeah, it's kind of a, a taste thing, really, and knowing your subject. Um, so if I was photographing at the sea and capturing waves, I'd probably be going around the five second mark to give me that ethereal look in the water. Um, whereas if I was capturing big crashing waves in a storm, I'd probably be setting it to 16 hundredths of a second or 32 hundredths of a second to capture that thing and hopefully some seagulls and stuff. So I've waffled on enough. I'm just going to take another wide shot from this angle and then I'm going to put it into vertical mode and show you different ways that I can catch the vertical of this falls. And then we'll start making our way out of here because it's getting a bit cold. Right, so we set up for quite a wide shot. So I was quite tight in like that before. And now I'm taking it out to the widest I can. And then I'm just going to come in to about 18 mil on this full frame lens. So that's 18 mil on the full frame. I'll just centralize it. And just bring the camera up a touch. So I'll just centralize the shot and just angle it up a little bit. I'll just open it up a touch more. And that's gonna give us the majority of the falls. Now I've focused it. I'm gonna set the focus onto manual so it doesn't hunt and then we'll take that shot. And this is what we got. Right, so to capture the, the full length of the falls now, I've just popped it into portrait orientation using the L bracket on the camera. So that's why that comes in handy. Keeps the center of gravity down through the tripod. So I'm just gonna put it into live view. And then we're gonna, gonna get the waterfall in the center of frame. So I've got the fall in the center of frame, but it's because of the angle that I'm on. It's coming from the top right of frame and it's just coming down and it's ending kind of mid to left of frame. It just gives it something a bit more interesting. There's just a smack bang in the middle shot. So also what I'm doing is I am I'm just making sure that I'm framing it right. So I've got the the sky above is quite blowing out against the darkness of the moss. So to get over that, I'm just cropping in a little bit. I'm only leaving a very tiny slither of sky in the top and I'll take that out in Photoshop. I love this Photoshop crop tool. Um, that's mainly what I use Photoshop for, for cleaning up things and for cropping, that's it really. Um, so I'm just gonna put it onto autofocus. Autofocus it in, put it onto manual to hold it. I'm quite happy with uh, 1.3 seconds. Now, I've had to drop the f-stop because I want to keep the seconds around 1.3. I've had to drop the f-stop to 5.6 and that's going to give me more light because it's looking a bit dark now. We are 
about two hours to sunset but because we're in this little cove there's no light coming in here at all so I'll just take that shot now and here it is I'd just like to say thanks for taking the time to watch this week much appreciated um, I bloody love it here absolutely love it it's so private you barely see anybody um, and you're always met with different compositions because of the flow rate so <coughs> again thank you for watching much appreciated please subscribe if you haven't already um, take a pop over to Jason Jones's vlog um, I know he'll um, Appreciate the uh, support over there and I will see you next week on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Bye for now.